the hardest part about being injured so many times for me was the mental aspect of it. Um, I was working so hard to get healthy, to come back for my team, and just setback after setback was super challenging. So when I broke my wrist the first time my junior year spring, I didn't end up having to have surgery, which was I was fortunate about. I was able to come back and play in our last two games, and we ended up winning the state championship. And that summer, um, I ended up tearing my wrist again, and in October, I had to have surgery. And that was super difficult because I worked so hard, and I thought I was healthy enough for me to come back, and I wouldn't have any setbacks. And then I ended up doing something again to it, and I had surgery. So for me, it's the mental aspect of all these injuries that was really difficult. One of the big questions for me when I got hurt was how was I going to have the same impact like with my team while I was out. Um, that was something that I really thought about the moment I got hurt was because I was captain on our team. I, I still wanted to have that leadership and have that responsibility of leading our team to something positive towards the end of the year. So for me, I would just encourage our guys as much as I could. Fortunately enough, my recruiting process didn't change a ton after I was injured. Um, I told our coaches and they were super understanding about both scenarios when I had to have surgery. So I was super nervous about those conversations and an aspect of not being wanted here anymore. Um, I was really stressing out about the one I tore my ACL. Um, the only thing that's kind of changed over that kind of time period has been this year I'm going to have to red shirt, which was something that I was struggling with at first, that idea of. But now since I've been here and talked to a lot of people, it's, it seems pretty common. That's what kids here do if it's a medical year or if it's just uh they don't play and they want to keep the extra year of eligibility which i never really thought of as an idea for me so i'm pretty happy with that um that now um for me after i tore my acl playing college sports um that idea didn't really change for me this time um i've kind of made it the jokes or the comments that if it happens again that i don't really know what i would do because like it's a very challenging process being such a competitive person and an athlete and you have to sit there and watch your team compete and you can't in a sense fight with your brothers um i think that was something that has gone through my head a little bit if like something like that happens if it's like an acl if it's the same acl like i don't know what i do like if it's something different maybe like a shoulder or my other wrist or a hand like something like that i think that'd be a little bit different but i think the only way that i wouldn't play college sports is if i tore my acl